Hi and welcome to another Honest Review and today it's the moment of truth for this Philips Lumia Advanced IPL hair removal device which I've been using for the last 10 weeks now. The makers say that in just three uses you should be able to reduce hair growth by 85%. Well I've used it five times and now we're going to look at the results. So I recorded my initial thoughts and impressions along with a lot of information on how to use the device, um, how long it takes to do each leg, um, you know, all the sort of pros and cons in making that buying decision. Um, that was filmed back in October. So I'll link to that video in case you haven't already seen it, if you want to uh, take a look at the kind of basic buying information and see me using it in action as well. Just to summarize the main points, this is a device that plugs in. It's not uh, the cordless variety and therefore it's a little bit cheaper. I bought this model, um, I got a great deal on it back in October. It was going for 200 pounds. And this particular model comes with um, two heads. There's this one here that you use um, on the face and there's a slightly larger one for the body. And to be honest, I think that's all you need. You know, there are more expensive, more elaborate ones out there for much more money, but these two uh, gave the kind of level of, of coverage that you need, basically. This model also included this little battery powered trimmer that you could use on, on eyebrows or upper lip or something like that. Now, I haven't actually used it which uh, kind of shows how worthwhile it is. So the deals on at the moment on Amazon, I've had a look because uh, that's often where you find the better deals and it's a site that everybody's familiar with wherever you are in the world. So that's why I tend to, to link to Amazon. There are no brilliant deals on at the moment because we're just sort of running up to Christmas, but I found one minus the trimmer, the same model, for £249 on Amazon and that has the two heads. So it's everything that you need and it's a plug-in. Um, but again, you know, it makes very little difference whether it's plug-in or cordless to me uh, because you're kind of, you're stationary when you use it anyway. I've also linked to a very similar model in the US which does include the little trimmer. It, it's currently priced at the time of filming at $500. So they're a bit, bit pricier, um, although there is the, the currency conversion. Um, but it's probably worth waiting until the new year when I'm sure there will be better deals around. Just a little recap on using it before we go to the results. Uh, for those of you who aren't really familiar with the model, it's got an on button at the back. You can hear the fan going already and the fan just keeps it cool as it's running. Um, it has five heat settings, one to five and I generally operated it, you just hit the on button again to move the settings. I uh, generally had it on setting three, um, and I found that that was comfortable, effective, but if I had it on four or five, it could be quite hot, quite burny. Once it's on, you've selected your setting, there's a little trigger here that you just push, and um, if you hold the device down flat onto the skin, a little light on the back will flash, when you're ready to use. And there you go, let's just hold that up so you can see that happening. You can see the light coming on there. So for covering larger areas of skin um, quickly, you just really hold the trigger down and then keep moving it and it'll operate on a timed basis, basically. So you don't have to keep pulling the trigger and lining it up over and over. You're just steadily moving along. Um, now it does recommend that you shave before using it. And um, if it's something like if you pluck your hair or use an epilator or something like that, you wait till the next day before you use the IPL device. This device does overheat and it just switches itself off. The lights run continuously up from one to five when it overheats and it doesn't, it stops working. Um, and I found that if I was doing both legs and maybe my underarms, because those were the areas that I treated, um, it would go off. I've maybe done a leg and a half or something like that and um, it would overheat. So the way I did it was I would do a leg and my underarms and then I would maybe put my makeup on and do the other leg. 
um, and that gets you away from having to deal with the overheating. It only took about 10 minutes to sort itself out in the event that it does overheat, but it's better when you're using just to kind of get into a routine where you avoid that in the first place. So a reminder that IPL stands for Intense Pulsed Light Treatment and it targets the pigment in your hair called melanin. Um, and it absorbs the light from the flash, uh, sending the hair into resting phase. So it's important to remember as well that frustratingly, this doesn't work on blonde or ginger hair or on darker skin tones. So there's quite a lot of people that are not going to get the benefit of using a device like that. Um, generally, it works on lighter skin and darker hair because it's targeting that pigmentation. So Phillips say that for that initial dramatic hair reduction of 85%, you should use it every couple of weeks. Um, this is for the, the initial period for three or four times to get that result. And from there on in, they recommend using it monthly. So, I mean, the results should last for about three months. This is according to Phillips. Um, and then from there on in, you're using monthly to kind of keep the results going. So I'm really just over that initial period. Um, I mean, I've used it five times. I kind of went for it because I wanted to see if I could completely get rid of the hair. And um, I'm going to share the results now. Now, <laughs> I have to start by saying it has been really effective. The 85% hair growth reduction, I would say, is about accurate. I've got very little hair left on my legs. Um, and so it was actually quite difficult to capture um, in a picture because the, the hair is quite fine now. So I've got nothing on my knees, um, but I have patches, I would say, on my upper leg, which you can see in this image. And again, on the lower leg, just straggly hairs coming in, a, a little heavier on the upper leg, but I'm still at the stage, the hair growth you're seeing is um, having not shaved for 10 days. So that's pretty good going. I thought to myself this morning, I would quite comfortably go swimming with my legs like that. Um, because you would have to look really, really closely to see the hair and there's not much of it there. So that's a massive breakthrough for me. You know, I had quite hairy knees and um, I've got dark hair, light skin, and there's no way I would have been going swimming without having to shave my legs. At the moment, the only, I don't need to use those uh, Gillette Venus um, blades, which were the only ones that really worked for me. I can just use um, a little electric, cheap little electric shaver to take off those kind of surplus hairs really easy. So that's a big breakthrough. The underarms, it's, I don't think I've got rid of 85% under my arms. I'll show you. Um, this is again about eight days growth. Um, and there is some hair there. It's not sort of fully coming through, but you can see that it probably will. A big reduction um, but I'm going to, you know, have to keep treating that area and see if I can get a better result. You know, I should say that again with the underarms, um, I, if I tried to use an electric shaver under my arms before, that would not have gone well. Whereas I have just been able to use that now and it just makes everything so much easier because it means you wouldn't have to shower if you suddenly wanted to go for a swim or something like that. You could just really quickly run the electric shaver over you. But obviously the very best result would be to not have to do that at all. And I'm certainly not there. Um, some of my friends who have had IPL in clinics and have paid considerable amounts of money, I mean, close to a thousand pounds, some of them over a thousand pounds for a course of treatment are now completely hair free. Whereas I've paid a couple of hundred pounds and I've got rid of about 85% of my hair on my legs. So, I think you can still call this value for money. I've covered in the past the no-no hair removal device, which works through um, thermal energy. And I found that, and I had to use it way more frequently than this over a very long period of time. I thought that got around uh, rid of around a third 
of my hair growth. And when I compare the two, <laughs> um, this is absolutely a runaway uh, winner. I wish I had bought this years earlier. The only thing that put me off was I had had IPL, I'm probably going back about 15 years, and um, that was in a clinic. And it got rid of some hair, but it left me with great patches of hair, including over my knees, that then came back over time. And it put me off. Whereas, um, you know, this has been a really effective solution so far. The, the interesting thing from here on in is going to see how this performs over time. I'm going to continue to use it now as they suggest monthly. What I might do is a couple more um, sessions under my arm to see if I can kind of crack that, get rid of the bulk of the hair from under my arms. And then I'm going to use it once a month and I'm going to come back in June 2021 and let you know how I've got on and I can give you a final, final opinion because I always think these things are really best judged over a long period of time. For now, what I can say, if you are considering splashing out on the Philips Lumia Advanced IPL device, I certainly think that provided you've got um, lighter skin tone, darker hair, I don't think you're going to be too disappointed. I do think you're going to get a good result out of this. Um, and as I say, I'll come back on the longer term result, which will really be the kind of final proof of the pudding. But certainly short term, it does do what it says on the packaging. So I hope you found this review helpful. I'm always happy to answer questions. So just comment below if there's anything you want to um, ask me about my experience of using this Philips device. Um, there are lots more reviews like this one on the channel. So do check them out if you get the chance. And if you've subscribed or you're subscribing today, then thank you. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.